Today's topic is anemia in kids. Anemia caused by iron deficiency can cause long-lasting developmental effects in children. Anemia occurs when the red blood cells in a person's blood are lower than normal. It also happens when the hemoglobin in the red blood cell is too low. Low hemoglobin levels mean there is too little oxygen or too much carbon dioxide in your body. Types Number 1. Iron Deficiency Anemia Your body needs iron to make hemoglobin. Poor dietary intake can lead to low levels of iron, thereby decreasing the amount of hemoglobin in the body. The most common type of anemia is the iron deficiency anemia. Most times, most people don't know they have this condition and chalk their symptoms up to other causes. Number 2. Microcytic anemia This type of anemia is defined by the size of your red blood cells. People with microcytic anemia have small and pale red blood cells. This shows a decrease in their ability to transport oxygen. Number 3. Macrocytic anemia this form results from red blood cells that are too large. These large red blood cells don't perform the same work as normal red blood cells because they are not mature. Number 4. Hemolytic anemia In hemolytic anemia, your red blood cells are normal in shape, size, and function, but their lifespan is cut short. They die off quickly and faster than they can be replaced. Number 5. Sickle cell anemia In sickle cell anemia, Red blood cells are C-shaped and become sticky and rigid. The abnormal shape makes these cells prone to getting stuck in blood vessels, causing pain, tissue damage, and even blood clots. There are several forms of sickle cell anemia, but they are all inherited genetic conditions that appear in the first few months of a child's life. Number 6. Thalassemia Thalassemia is a group of blood disorders that affect the proteins that make up hemoglobin. Number 7. Aplastic anemia. This is a type of anemia where your bone marrow doesn't produce enough red blood cells. A lot of things can cause damage to the bone marrow, and this cause of this type of anemia has multiple contributors. Some of these contributors are radiation, chemotherapy, autoimmune disease, and certain viruses like HIV. Symptoms of anemia in kids. Symptoms of anemia in kids are quite similar to those in adults. But depending on the child's age, they may have a hard time telling you how they feel. Some of the most common symptoms in children with iron deficiency anemia include stuffy nose, cough, diarrhea, vomiting, pale skin, irritability, and cognitive or developmental problems, among others. Other forms of anemia have a variety of symptoms, but they can also develop without any symptoms. Causes of anemia in kids The cause of anemia depends on the type, but for many children, it is the result of a genetic condition that affects how red blood cells form. Iron deficiency anemia in infants and young children is linked to poor diet when there's a delay in introducing iron-fortified foods or iron supplements. Diagnosis. It can be difficult to diagnose anemia in young children because symptoms can be mild or the same as other conditions. Your doctor will ask about individual and family medical histories. A complete blood count test will be done to count all the blood cell types in your body. Anemia can be diagnosed by comparing your child's red blood cell count to normal ranges. Treatment Treatment depends on the type of anemia, the severity, and any underlying conditions that contribute to the problem. Iron deficiency anemia is usually treated with iron supplements and dietary changes. Your doctor may also suggest you increase the amount of iron-fortified or iron-rich food in your child's diet. For example, eggs, iron-fortified cereals, dark green leafy vegetables, and beans. In severe cases, your child may require blood transfusions. Thank you for watching our video. Please do not forget to like and share the video. Also, please subscribe to the channel to stay updated on our latest videos.